OK, so, John, uh, I sent you this article. There was an article the other day. I, was, I wanted to mention it on the show last week, but uh-huh. I just completely forgot about it because I was a bit distracted. What's the article about? Right, it was the one where there's a startup in America, right, a US startup. Yeah. Let me just read and you the article. startup. Oh, OK, Three. this sounds interesting. Yeah, apparent, <laughs> apparently 90% fail. So, but, you know, I'm just saying. It's just that's black and white statistics. I mean, I'm just, you know, I don't make this stuff up. OK, so check this out, people. I thought this, was, this, this made a, a, an impact on me. A U.S. startup, I'm reading from The Guardian, Alex Hearn, an article from The Guardian. Uh, A U.S. startup is promising to download customers' brains to the cloud using a pioneering technique it has trialed on rabbits. Wow. The only catch, according to the company's uh, co-founder, the process is 100% fatal. What? Netcom, uh, founded in 2016 by a pair of <laughs> MIT AI researchers, okay, these, these are serious cats, All MIT right. AI researchers, uh, hope to offer a commercial application of a novel process for preserving brains called aldehyde stabilization cryopreservation. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Talk about tongue twisters yeah. of tongue twisters. <laughs> It is, isn't it? We're learning new words today, people. Every day is a school day. <laughs> the process, which results in the brain being vitrifixed, the startup's self-named term for essentially turning it into glass, is promising enough that it has won two prizes from the Brain Preservation Foundation Wow! Pres- for preserving a rabbit's brain in 2016 and a pig's brain in 2018. That's amazing. I mean, when you think about it. Yeah. Which one would you prefer? Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> is that the end of the article? No, or is mate. More? No, I've got more smoke. So check it out. Yeah. Influential startup accelerator Y Combinator has taken Netcom in with the organization's chief executive, Sam Altman, becoming one of the 25 people to pay a $10,000 deposit to join the waiting list. Wow. There's already a waiting list. Yeah, man. How's your crypto getting on? Have you got, are you holding 10, 000, 10, 10 Gs? Not at the moment. Okay. <laughs> I assume my brain will be uploaded to the cloud, Altman told MI. IT technology review. But there is one pretty large downside. In order for the vitrification process to preserve a brain well enough to, to leave hope of accurate upload or revival, it has to be carried out at the moment of death. Wow. Or more precisely, it has to be the cause of death. The subject slash customer slash victim has the blood flow in their brain replaced with the embalming chemicals. Embalming liquid? Yeah, it's kind Damn. of it's from there. Uh, that preserve the neuron, neuronal structure even as they kill the patient. Right. Netcom right. believes that its service is legal in certain US states with robust euthanasia laws, including California, where death with dignity statutes have been in place for two years. My goodness. Yeah, so Switzerland's going to be all over this, right? Well, I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, I, 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 you know, I've got so many questions now. Yeah. But well, let me get to the end of here. It's not long. Right. Even then, however, it doesn't predict actual use of its services until 2021. So you tell uh, gram- Grandma or Grandpa to hang in there and start saving up. Okay. The other downside of Nectom is that in common with most crypto preservation businesses, the company doesn't have any actual methods for reviving or uploading the brain it stores. It hopes to demonstrate a fully uploaded simulation of a biological neural network sometime around 2024, according to its website. There's no time scale for providing an upload brain with anything approaching the ability to interact with the outside world. Wow. My goodness. I mean, we're talking about a digital revolution, but this is just, this is mind-boggling. Well, you know where I'm at with this? I feel like this is the future. This is going to happen, right? And we, <laughs> you and me, we are just in the moment, we're just a couple of cavemen here going, <laughs> sitting here laughing about something that's just going to be perfectly normal to our grandchildren. But, you right? know, <laughs> so let's be cavemen. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Where's my axe? There's one part I didn't understand about the article. Yeah. They have to kill you first, right? Yeah, they do. <laughs> well, yeah, has- that was, that was, the, 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 yeah. Do you come yeah, back from death? That's no, what... man, you're in the cloud, dude. <laughs> and I was thinking, you know, if you pay for it with crypto, that means uh, your brain could pass your own blockchain payment <laughs> up in the cloud. Isn't that awesome? My That's goodness. like some David Bowie shit, yeah, man. Yeah, talk about being buried with your money, right? Yeah. <laughs> You'd be abstractly living with your cash. Who got buried with the money? Was it the pharaohs or yeah. was it the mobsters? Well, the pharaohs got buried with gold and yeah. all their slaves and well, concubines. Well, that's it. So, so yeah. it's, it's, not, it's nothing the ancient Egyptians <laughs> hadn't thought of already. Yeah. It's not all that new. Yeah. But would you do it? Would you consider it? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. It, depends. it would depend on... Who would be alive, right? You know what this reminds me of, John? I, I mean, I think it's, I think it's ridiculous, but 
the, the technology, because a lot of a lot of stuff that you see that's new technology, it just goes nowhere, right? Yeah, yeah. Like mini discs. Yeah. What happened to mini discs? Yeah, they just they just vanished, right? Yeah. But um, if this this article then, when I was rereading it this morning, it reminds me of a Roald Dahl story. Do you know Roald Dahl? No, it's no one of idea. the great children's story writers, but he wrote fantastic short stories. All right. And there's a story where the wife, to get back at her husband, she sticks his brain in a jar wow. and attaches them to the eyes. So he gets to uh, watch as uh, she keeps living and, and wow. living with her new boyfriend. That must be depressing. Yeah, it's like to torture him for the rest of... Exactly. I life. mean, why would I want to be just some brain, you know, without yeah. any physiological, you know, abilities? I yeah. can't eat. Yeah. It's I, torture, basically. Yeah. Living forever <laughs> is torture. It's torture. That's what they don't...